You know how I said, like, I want a hotkey keyboard? I have a Stream Deck, and it makes it a little easy to mute. What happened? What happened? Thanks, Dan. And hell, hello, Dan. Um, I was saying really quickly, I gotta re I'm gonna redo the intro video. I don't mind it, but I want to maybe change up the clips a little bit so that the, uh, I chose them. So if you have clips that you'd like to see in it, just, just hit it up in the Discord. Let's go there. Dane, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Alexa, how you doing, buddy? We're going to do the DLC. I don't know if it updated because Bumbo is still here. But we'll see. You said something about sax. So and I remember hearing about sax because I thought to myself and I was like, and said sax. Oh, wait, maybe it's these right here. Oh, look at this. It updated. You can replace what you would like to replace sax on the right. I did not even know that this is how sax worked. So the DLC rules then are. Wait, just. How do I know? Which. Here we go. So there's two stacks here. How do I know which is which here? Or do these just replace like this side? Or do they go like this? Yeah, they were split 50 50 and then you shuffled them. <laughs> now I combined them. Oh no. So, like, I understand. There we I understand now. Those are question mark ones, right? Like nine in there. That would add quite a bit. Hmm. Where did they go? I was just reload. It's immediately. <laughs> yeah, it's a Jonah stream. Okay. Create. Single player. Load the pyramid. It's reloaded. Brown Claw and Demon Claw its own deck, like the question mark deck, Isaac and Spire both have 10 characters, 10 secondary. Okay, so these go away. So put those there. I understand. No. Yes. So then flip. 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 This is too much work, all right? <laughs> flip. And then whoop. And whoop. Whoop. Yep. No, stack, you stupid cards. Eight, nine, ten. Okay. Flip. Put them there. Whoop. There. This is hurting me. Hop on the wholesome burst. <laughs> okay. I'm doing that. Hello. Hi. <laughs> What's up, How buddy? How are you? <laughs> uh, th that was hurting me, so I felt like I had to had to do a quick and easy explanation. Yeah, that's uh, fair. If you, if you just right click on the deck. There's a beautiful thing called cut that cuts it in half. <laughs> <laughs> no, because there's oh there's, look at that. There's there's twenty modded Isaac and twenty modded Spire. Ten characters, ten secondary objectives for each of them. Right now, you have five characters in your modded Isaac uh, secondary objective spot. Okay, we're just gonna reload this. <laughs> Take three. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay, so. I know you're a, like slightly delayed, so I'm going <laughs> to pull this out. 
and cut. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then if one I... of those is going to be characters and one's going to be secondaries. All right. And those are your secondaries. So then delete these. And if you want double Isaac so you don't hit Bumbo, you can. Oh, can I control Z? <laughs> oh, you can. <laughs> that's so good. That's, that's what I did was I, I yeeted uh, regular Isaac. I kept regular Spire, but then I also... Uh, Yeeted Bumbo, and then I mean, I've actually won a run, so I've I've unlocked the other stuff. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've got more than five hundred. Uh, <laughs> I I was really good at Rocket League. Yeah, I, I've heard. I was phenomenal against the easiest level of uh, AI. Yeah, very proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> so glad you are. Uh, so okay, so. Oh, no, no, oh, no, no, we're oh, okay. We're all right. Do you have any other questions? I don't want to interrupt you. No, okay. Screen. No, it's okay. Cause this is helping. So where did these other ones go? If I'm assuming like, so if you want to use them, the, <laughs> it's not a flip apparently. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the monolith and the nuclear throne decks are also, uh, split with secondary objectives so you have to split them the same way that you did spire and isaac if you want to use them um the demon crawl slash round guard deck is similar to the question mark deck where it's just you just draw one and then you it counts as all the points so if you want to replace those with something you can uh and then when you roll it's just you know if you roll legend of bumbo it's whatever you put in the legend of bumbo spot i I haven't come up I with a good you. way to handle that yet, but eventually. You know, if only there was like a thing of wheels that you could make that it's would work. crazy. Yeah. Just you a could just, wheel all the did time. You, did you see the update on this that so you can have like um, bound objects now? So if you wanted to like make the sacks together, you could. Oh, that's actually really nice. Yeah. The only reason I see that is that it was on the front page of this when it updated. <laughs> uh, I'll have to look into it. I already have, like, people are making even more decks. There's now a One Step from Eden deck. I don't wow. know if you've checked that one out yet, but... No, I have not. Uh, I've watched a few videos on it. It looks really good. It's it's good, but it falls under that same vein as uh, Crypt of the Necrodancer, where it's, like, it's stupid hard to play it on camera. Like, commentating that game and playing it at the same time is so difficult. That's but, what I've heard. Yeah. But... but let me like sure I have model. I I will tell you I barely know Monolith and I definitely don't know Nuclear Throne, so I have not used either of the decks. But I do have Monolith. <laughs> I only have some games that yeah, are showing up on the stream. About as much as me, so. Total playtime, 105 minutes, actually. <laughs> no problem. No, it's already done. It's so nice being in a country with high-speed internet. Yeah, crazy, isn't it? <laughs> that I could just <laughs> download games while streaming and have no issues. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm able to talk in this chat right now. That's pretty funny. Sad. <laughs> right. I think I'm All good. Right. So uh -huh. I've already forgot what was here. So that's fun. Uh, I think that was Gungeon. That was Gungeon. I guess it doesn't really matter what's where. I'm surprised you're opting for Spelunky over uh, Gungeon. I've been playing Spelunky off cam, um, maybe during uh, Skype calls at, at, like, <laughs> while I'm working from home. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, because I just have like one of my laptops just sitting beside me at work. So I'm like, hello, laptop. <laughs> 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 And then, like, periodically, like, somebody will ask me a question. And then I'll just, like, oh, sorry, I was muted, but could you repeat that question? <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah, it works, really. All right, bud. Well, best of luck with your rolls. Oh, uh, it's going to be a big, fat zero, so <laughs> you'll see. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to see it. Cool. All right. Thanks for the yeah, help. I'll catch you later, buddy. Yep. See ya. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm getting all the points? I don't think so. I don't think so. That actually helped out like a ton. And Dan, thank you for putting the links in there. I forgot to mention, but go check out Mr. Alexa. Wonderful content creator, obviously a good friend of mine who can help out with the stuff that I need. And I'm looking forward to checking this out. He's the creator of the pyramid. I deleted too much. There we go. I like the little like pop it makes. I don't need that. I don't need the scoring because let's be honest. There's gonna be any scoring here. Like I'm married. There ain't no scoring tonight. Yeah. But yeah, go check him out. Let's roll for first. We got the binding of Isaac. Oh, no, 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 this is Bumpo. Oh, uh, okay, no problem. So take a single card, put that there, single card, put that there. I'm not gonna look at them yet, we'll look at them after. Gungeon, monolith, that's a problem. That's a problem. What is this board game? Never seen it before. <laughs> it's not a board game, it's a cardboard rogue game. <laughs> Rito has the highest possible. I don't think that's true. I think everybody is about to learn the true meaning of Canadian gameplay. Raps, how you doing, buddy? Roll again. Depending on the mod, I'm definitely not going to have it. I'm not really a big modded Isaac player, so that's going to be fun. Okay, we already got that. And a question mark. Oh, I'm nervous. Let's start. Starting is Eden. Play on the free play, free to pay seat. I don't even know what that seat is. That's a problem. Don't enter shortcut rooms. I don't even know what those are. And skip a terminal upgrade. I think I screwed up this deck. I screwed this up. I don't know what I did. That seems like a secondary objective. Also got the little red thing on it. Because the other ones here should be like Win the run as Arena Blaster. Okay, that's what we're going with. I'm not going to have any characters unlocked. Not at all. That is 100% true. That's okay. Modded Spire. Install the Hubris mod and take at least one modded relic. Cool. Win a run beat Act 3 as the Glutton. Gotta, we're going to learn how to download Spire mods on stream. That doesn't sound like a problem. Like greed mode instead of doing an Omeron, that's a problem. Win the run, going to the chest as Saul. But I have to, I guess this is just a big old fuck you then. GeoGuessr finished with a score 12. Oh my God, we got that for sure, son. I think this one I screwed up. No, it's nine and nine. I got the, the, this backwards, but the secondary objective. Oh, you didn't, I'll have to change the wording to greed as Saul. Oh, I understand what you mean. I understand what you mean. So this supersedes that. Okay, okay. Greed mode's not that hard to win. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna like order this here. Hear me out. I think what I wanna do is, I kinda wanna do GeoGuessr first. I really like GeoGuessr. That, this, I think my best chance is if I do this order here. I go GeoGuessr, Isaac, Isaac, Slay the Spire, Blaster, Blaster. Did I just join, what did you miss? We just drew the cards for the pyramid. That's all we did. Don't just learning how to navigate the DLC, but that's about it, yeah. I mean, this is gameplay. This is gameplay. So I think this is a pretty good order. 
play the world map. Googling is a dishonor. Fair. I'm not going to Google anyway. I 100% agree. I want the. I don't know what the free to play, free to pay, is, but that's fine. We'll figure that out as we go. I think it's a pretty good order. Okay, so I'm going to change the game to GeoGuessr and get it loaded. Da, ah, drop my controller. Not going to need you for a while. I'm not wrong. I'm probably wrong. Oh, thought you missed gameplay. I got you. Okay. Man, you. Man, man, you. Back to the main. Please don't have Pornhub open on my computer. You guess who's not in Steam, right? Free to pay Isaac starts with 69 coins, but all items and consumables must be bought. I can't type. It is not. It's only in the Chrome slash Farfuhux. We do a private window so that you guys can't see anything. Yeah, whatever. Good enough. GeoGuessr is definitely just browser. Uh, okay, so world. I do have an account. All right, you guys, one second. See this magic. You believe in magic. Oh, I've definitely signed in to this account from, from here before. Two-step verification. Come on. Looks like I worked in cybersecurity. We're good. Welcome to Jill Gustar. It was world, right? I forgot to take a screenshot. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. I think I can reload it. I think I can reload it. Two-step off for GeoGuessr is a bit excessive. <laughs> I have any time I use a Gmail account. One of my Gmail accounts. I go create single player. Load custom. That's what I thought. I thought it like saved it. Okay. That. Snipping tool. Windows 10 is going to say, snipping tool is moving. And I'm going to say, not yet, you're not. There we go. Okay. Close you. Back to you. World, let's go. We're just doing play. Hook me up with full screen. Soiled it. No time setting, single player. Start game. Okay. Wind shift S. I don't know what that one does. For full screen? A lot. Okay, like Land Rovers. Like we're in Europe. Matter of where in Europe. Lentreg as a knockoff supermarketo tempo. Hmm. Snipping tool shortcut. Oh, I didn't know that. Snipping tool is both the most useless and most powerful part, or most useful part of any computer. Yeah. Yeah. What does that say? I mean, this looks to be like Russia. Alt F4 is good too. My actual favorite keyboard shortcut Yay! might actually be Control Shift T when you're in like Chrome and Firefox because it opens up tabs that you've closed. Very handy. Very handy. Rico Steele, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Actually, this might be the Ukraine. No, SK. We got a top level. No time limits. This is Slovakia with SK. I'm going to put us there for now. 
I'm always afraid every time I say a word in GeoGuys or spray paint on a wall because there's like a 99% chance of some obscenity. I mean, it's in Slovakian, so I'm going to assume it's these ladies spray painted it up there and they said, come by my place for some sausage rolls because we make them every Sunday. With Bali, love it. They're definitely not social distancing. It is not Iowa or Texas. You know how I know that? There's not a single truck in the parking lot and there's no shopping carts in the parking lot either. People are actually respecting the shopping cart rules and putting them back. That's probably one of my biggest pain points in, or like pet peeves, not a pain point, in all of existence. People not putting the shopping carts back. Oh, that's a strip club for sure. Don't zoom in too far there. That dude's wearing sweatpants to a strip club. That's not, that's not good. That's, no, move the camera away. Let's just go on. There's too many trucks in Texas. That dude's got overalls on. It's, it's Luigi Mario. I love it. <laughs> Hashtag mature stream. How many trucks here in Texas? We have racks specifically built for people just to leave the shopping carts in our parking lots. No, I mean like, I mean between the cars and stuff. Like where they don't belong. Or they like, they tuck them in like right behind your car. Or they hop the top wheels up on the curb and leave them. Those people. I just started collecting straight cards on my way back to the card repository out of pure spite for the people leaving them there. I do the same, actually. I will actually, like, tell people, I'm like, hey, you know, the, the card thing is, like, 10 meters away from you. Like, just put the card away. And don't listen. They don't listen. The villa's over there. The local villa. Wait, people don't put the shopping carts back? No. No, that, I don't know. It's... It happens periodically where I am. Most people are pretty good, but sometimes they don't. Nove Anomilibi Omesto. I think that's a city. Although, to be fair, I don't know how big of a city in Slovakia, we are if uh, the billboard for the airport exists in a parking lot like that. Uh, a billa in every field. <laughs> Just glare at them and then make sure you're, you're glaring. Yeah, but that doesn't like produce any results. I've seen um, there's like radio hosts now that call people out on it. And I quite like it. I wanted to see this ad. Straight up, I thought it was like a hamster. Were you a taxi car at? It had an airplane on it. Somebody leaves a car by my car, I will move it directly behind theirs and then run over them with my car. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if Mercedes knows about this ad at all. On this, what appears to be a... Mafia house. There is not a single sign with any sort of city here. Let's go back to the strip club. Maybe they got the city. I'm just joking. <laughs> That's a real estate guy. Let's see. Cool. Thanks, Google. Can't really do much better while I'm wor working, though. Yeah, that's fair. It's a Slovakian Alexa. I don't. I think I'm just gonna have to guess roughly where we are. Hamburgery, okay. Hot doggy. We're we're definitely in Slovakia, though, for sure. I, I think I'm gonna. Probably err on the side of caution and go close to Bratislava. <laughs> Hot doggy. 
I'm down to the hot doggy, where we've got hot doggies. But you know what, I might have it here. Black and white taxi. Don't run away from me, taxi. You're running away. Okay. No, I'm not going to get it. Call the taxi service. There's a 0% chance I'm calling any of these numbers. Rosa Realty. Does it say Play Hub? It definitely says Play Hub. Stop zooming in on signs. I'd like to keep this Twitch channel for a little while. Uh, I'm just going around Bratislava. That's the only city I know. I'm, I'm okay with that. 4439. I'm okay with that. I absolutely adore the nation that take the American food and put a Y on it. Yo, that's what Canada does. We call it Coca-Cola. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Might be in California. And W. Could be Kansas. I mean, that's a lot of wasted water right there, so we're probably in America. <laughs> watch it be Canada. Like, watch it be Saskatchewan or something. Back up. The sign will tell me. What's the speed limit on this corner? That's 50? No. I told you. I told you. America. We're in the land of the free. Home of the brave, wasting water down the road, no particular reason. I thought I had a rhyme in my head. I did. These look like grapes, right? These, want, these look like grapes. I've never been to Canada, I just assume it's snow everywhere. I mean, you're not that wrong. I really want to do a competitive pyramid run with the tweak rules where you need to complete the objective to get the points, but then the person with the highest score for the game also gets more points. I think that'd be fun. That would be fun. I also think competitive GeoGuessr would be pretty fun, too. Just in general. I'm looking for a sign. What kind of turn is that? Give me rank mode in GeoGuessr. I don't think I can set it up on the free one. I think there is a rank though. Like you can set up like multiplayer. Those signs are just a bunch of trailers and cranes, huh? I've seen competitive GeoGuessr, it's fun. I've seen, uh, I've seen a couple other streamers do it as well. I'm gonna see if we can spot anything on this truck. Dude's got quite the tan. What does that tell me? I don't know. There's no gun in the window, so I don't think we're, <laughs> we're in like the Southern, you know, wink, wink part of there. That's just my assumption. If I see a gun in the back window, we're in Texas. Or Florida. <laughs> like I saw the Google car coming. By the way, everything I say is a joke. Do not take me seriously. I love the United States. Please don't do anything. Traffic from right does not stop. Okay. Makes sense. Just give me a town. This is gonna be the end, huh? Something, something, some Express Co. A coffee shop in Seattle. Only we would not make a series together for months and come back to the multiplayer geo guess your series. I mean, that's so true. That's so true. Iro Damsel, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I see on this sign the Z. How do I get back to where we started? Click return to start. That seems to be the right idea. Where the hell are we? This is the way I went, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Why would I turn around? I 
I probably like looked around and then like immediately went, oh, that seems like a good way. This way does not seem like a good way, by the way. Give me a sign. Oh, it's Joe Exotic's house. <laughs> Imagine that would be funny if that's where it landed us. That would be hilarious. I want to catch up to this truck. Oh, oh, a city with boarded up windows. Not good. These landscapes, landscapes are depressing. The houses are not any better, if I'm being honest. Somewhere in the U.S., though. Monterey Yay! something. Monterey something. Monterey County. Ron, thank you for the follow as well. California vibes? That's what I said when I started. I was like, I feel California. But California license plates are red on white, I believe. That, that looks California-y to me. It's got a boot. It's a boot there. I was hoping they had one of those like neon signs that's the shape of the state. And then I could like not know what the shape of a state is. Oh, we've gone back to 1992. Okay, we're back. The nicest thing in this town is the baseball field. How I feel about that. Welcome back. Oh, this might be, this might be the town sign. Oh, it is. Welcome to San Nardo. San Ardo. San Diego. Not San Diego. It's definitely Cali. Massive palm trees, my dude, you're far south tropical. I'm going to see if we can. How many cities are there in like California? Not that many, right? <laughs> Just bigger. This might be Arizona as well. Like we're, we're somewhere over here. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to look around a little bit more. We're, we're at the edge of town. This is kind of where I wanna be. This is the worst town sign I've ever seen. It, I mean, it has what appears to be a cowboy riding an, an oil well uh, drill. I don't even know what those are called. It's an oil well drill. We gotta be in Texas, right? Texas is all about that oil life, right? I take it back then, this is the best town sign. They got you to paint the sign. The town smacks of, I've realized I've used half the sign, painting less than half the word, and I had to cram the rest in. Dude, that's me in every single high school project in existence. We have to be in Texas. San Marcos. There's another San Diego. Kent and I am sitting here just smiling and kibbling. Welcome to San Ardo. <laughs> El Campo is a real town name. I remember. So keep me honest, like West Texas, like Austin and so forth are like the it's it's like a pretty um not stereotypical Texas. Like Austin is a pretty like, like the Portland of Texas of what I've heard. I have no idea though. Sam, how are you doing? Welcome in. Let's see this road sign. And school zone. Okay. That does not help. That one's there. San Ardo. How, what's the population here? Population 56 people. <laughs> Yo, for sure. That sign was painted by the mayor's like kid. There's no way 
that they paid anybody for that. <laughs> 56. <laughs> I think there's 56 people in this town and this one trailer has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars on their like on their lawn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kim to Santa in our town has a baseball diamond in fields. So they don't even, even have enough people for like two teams. Oh, like the town in Tremors. Yo, Kevin Bacon, let's go. He lives here. I can feel it. So I do get a Texas vibe from this. Just due to like the oil and the cowboy. That might be horribly stereotypical but it's where i am at and in order to keep things maybe moving i just guess i'm not gonna find a town with 56 people on here look at this like motion blurred google even the like the google car wanted to leave this place fast all right the average person is many thousand times more likely to be struck by lightning than live in san ardo <laughs> This is a slow truck. We got any ads on you? Valley harvesting and packing. Getting the standard. Setting the standard. Not have the state on there. What are you even hauling? Don't want to know. Yo, yo, here we go. Here we go. 101. Oh, here we go. I got a sub WT and thought it was Washington rather than wait. <laughs> that would be funny. Oh, welcome to Sarnoto Drive. Okay. Pop this out. Make it make it huge so I can see. And for 101. That's uh that's Mexico. It's probably not in Mexico. Three eighty-four, one seventy-one, one ninety, one hundred five. You know what? It might actually be California. If I ever retire and moving to San Ardo, they'll have to get a new sign. They they have not budgeted for that. It would be fifty-seven people. They cannot handle it. <laughs> I don't know, so I Google it. There is no. There is no lie, a church in San Arno that is Our Lady of Ransom? That's terrifying. Is that 101? That's 191. Yeah, if it was going to be in California, it would be like up here, right? Probably not in the forest, now that I think about it. That's where Yosemite is? Wait, Death Valley's a... Death Valley, right? Maybe that's where they are. They're not. They're, they're in Texas, for sure. It's a matter of where. Texas isn't that big, so... Even if we guess somewhere here, we're gonna be fine. This stupid map system. And by map, I mean road. There's 108. But it's like a cir it's like the circle rectangle. Death Valley is a Death Valley. <laughs> yes, water is water. <laughs> I think the green means it's a state park. That would make sense. I'm just going to take a quick look to see if there was like another highway sign. U.S. North 1, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Did I see? No. Oh, what's that one? Oh, the exit to San Ardo. Son of a bitch. Oh, San Art. Exit 263 does not help at all.
Where was that street sign? There it is. Okay, okay. This is it. For all the marbles, I don't think having the San Ardo Boxing Club sign is going to help me at all. I'm surprised it shows up even as a Texas. <laughs> or even as an exit. I read Texas. Uh, well, now you know it's about 263 miles from a border. I don't know what that means. I like that there's a boxing club, though. Does San Ardo even have a boxing club? <laughs> it's just two guys. All they do is they go to the one strip club in, in the city and they fight on Thursday nights. That's it. That's all that happens <laughs> in the parking lot. Harris Valley Road. Look, Americans love street signs. There's going to be another one. They love street signs, but they also like hate reading them. Los Lobos Road, not helping, like, at all. They're all in a boxing club. <laughs> I know Americans. I know, I know what you guys, what you guys get up to. I know how you think. Okay, bring me back to this. Don't bring me back to the start. I got a feeling. What's going on, GeoGuessr? You're not you're not moving forward. All right, well that's the unofficial official end of that. Let's uh, let's make a guess. It's not near Laredo. It's bigger. I have a feeling it is still California, though. I don't know. I kind of want to split the difference and say it's here. Like that's 101, but that's like. It's a circle 101, not the police shield 101. And then there's the blue and red 10, like, I don't know what the frig, the numbering system of the highways in the U.S. is. It's a city called Dome. That's probably not helpful. El Centro. All right. Um... Doing a quick gander. Oh, oh, 101. Yo. We found 101. Santa, oh, Santa Rosa. It is California. San Antonio. Yo, we got this. Look for the baseball field and boxing club, and we, we for sure have it. Where the hell am I? Oh, I'm way up there. How far does the 101 go? Oh, God, it goes on forever. 101. I think we're, we're south, though. San Martin. Galroy, Surgent, Oak Hills. We're going to find it. Greenfield, if Greenfield's on here, San Lucas, San Ardo. We found the city. Just go like right there for a moment. Oh, we've done it. Route 101 is the right thing to look for. Thank you. Thank you for not spoiling. <laughs> like, legit, please don't spoil this one because I, I want to make sure that I get this properly. Oh, there's the My Lady of Racism. I mean, Ransom, right there. So where, where are we our starting point? We're in the fields. Yay! We're not in the city. We're like over here. We're like over here. Key, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this, my guess right here. 5,000 exact points, 72 meters away. Yes. Mm. Jane Josh plays. Thank you for the follow. A lot of Spanish road or town names is going to be the SoCal of the U.S. Was waiting for you to find and know it. We're, we're almost, we're almost done like this one. We only got to get 12,000. How did you freaking position yourself in America to teach your fellow Canadian? I'm so bad at 
uh, GeoGuessr. The easiest way to know you're in the US versus Canada, uh, if the buildings look nice and the people are waving to the Google car, you're probably in Canada. If they're angry and the houses don't look nice, then you're probably in the States. And I am 100% being satirical right now. <laughs> I mostly look for the road signs. If you see like speed limits of kilometers per hour, you're likely there. The One of the things that I noticed with American uh, cities is they have very wide roads. That's one thing. You look out the Google smart car window and see a guy with a beard pointing a gun here in the US. <laughs> yeah, miles per hour is a big one. There are some other countries that do miles per hour though. Like uh, I think the UK still does miles per hour on the road signs. That's an old European lady right there. Never, well, maybe not. Nope, they got uh, they got Lululemon wherever we are here. Good to know. This is where the Google car went down. Are we about to witness the Google driver get murdered? UK is kilometers per hour. Interesting. Yep, not okay. This is Russia. Like, for sure. Just a matter of where. And when I don't know where in Russia, it's we're going near we're going near Moscow, if we're not sure. UK also drives on the left, that's true. The hills definitely have eyes in this town. <laughs> also no one around. It can it, UK is kilometers per hour and drives on the left, as does Aussie South Africa. Big telltale signs. Yeah, that's a very good point. Do Canadians refer to their height in metric or imperial? I personally have a hard time estimating length in metric. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something really quick while we're here. And it should be somewhere on here. Uh Canada ways oh metric imperial canada is a weird combination this is the chart i'm thinking of no no don't click on the i don't know what site this is canada has a very strange system of measuring so for height how tall you are that is an imperial so if we were to follow this what are you measuring a distance is it your height yes imperial done like I'm like six feet tall. <laughs> is it your height? No. Is it a long distance? Yes, metric. That thing is 50 kilometers away. Or alternatively, if you have to drive it, driving is in time. You never say like, uh, like say Toronto is like 300 kilometers away. You say it's a three hour drive to, like, to Toronto. If it's related to work, it's always Imperial. If not, it's metric, 100%. If you're like weighing something, your weight is always in pounds. Everything else is pretty much in um, pounds, except if it's very heavy. Entirely true. Cooking is still cups and spoons. Everything else is metric. You buy liters of fuel. You bake in tablespoons. It's, it is incredibly complicated, but that's the most accurate flowchart of Canadian systems that I've ever seen in my life. And Dan can back me up. It's 100% true. The only time we use metric for height is in medical reasons because hospital like to annoy us. Yep. Yep. Never realized how complicated it was till today. <laughs> and that, that's like one of the universal things in Canada too. Although, so we have like a, uh, have like a six month old kid. Um, I took a long break from streaming because of it. You probably know that if not, that's why I wasn't streaming for a while. Um, they, Dan's like entirely right. They do everything in uh, metric. It's very confusing because I'm like, oh, my kid is like 62 centimeters in length. Cool. I don't know what that is. Height. 
but it does make more sense. I wish we would just convert entirely to metric. I don't know where the hell we are, by the way. And an army truck? Maybe the army truck, there's a couple army trucks. I mean, I know we're in Russia. I just don't know where in Russia. This reminds me of my university. Also, if you want an interesting story about the troubles of conversation, look up the Gimli glider incident. <laughs> I'll look it up. I'll look it up. Uh, if you want to know another thing about uh, troubles of conversation and how silly the English language can be sometimes, uh, look up the Buffalo, 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 Buffalo sentence. And you'll, you'll learn how complicated or how stupid the English language actually is. There's never a point in trying when it comes to Russia for me. It's a bit outside of Moscow. It's always my calling card. I was going to say the same. That's like the only area that I even remotely know. I got a bag of milk. No. Happened in Canada, basically converting Imperial to metric caused a plane to run out of fuel. Oh, wow. Ooh. Did he sign? Sign disappear? Did I go too far back? At the back of the truck I saw? Yeah, it definitely was. Okay. So let's just guess. We have to wait. That's okay. That buffalo sentence just tells me that English is a joke. Mm-hmm. There is the same thing in French. I did not know that. Oh, we were actually pretty close. So we've officially won a game in GeoGuessr. The pyramid game, that is. That buffalo sentence just tells me, oh, I already read that. Blah, blah, blah. Nobody's going to walk up to you and say the buffalo sentence. No, but they, they teach it in, uh, in university anyway. And it, it's very American as well. Like, to buffalo someone is not uh, typically a thing that you would say in Canada. Pino, huh? I say we're in like here. No, we're possibly Croatia right now. Let's give me some Croatia vibes. Giving me Croatia vibes. Also, if somebody walked up to you and said the buffalo sentence, they, they would not be so good. <laughs> well, Kami, how are you? Maybe Alexa buffaloes people, but I've never heard that before. There's a few sentences like that in, like Alice mentioned, in a few different languages that exist. And it's because like words have double meanings. In the case on that one, buffalo has like four different meanings and the way that you can construct an English sentence allows you to make a sentence with seven of the same words. It's silly. The weed farm? Might be in Canada then. <laughs> Probably every language is ridiculous in different ways. Absolutely true. 100%. I'm not going to search mountain chicken on stream. <laughs> oh, good. Left square is that way. Right square is the other way. Yo, actual, like, civilization potentially, though. Good old praise emote. That was just a roundabout sign, right? Yeah, 150 meters. Okay. That's a good sign. Take the roundabout. The rune to boot. Orzovki and Rudno. I'm, def I'm definitely getting like Croatian vibes from this. Oh, I just did a mountain chicken is a frog. <laughs> this stream doesn't search chickens after the poultry geist incident. <laughs> Very true. This could also be uh, Sylvania. Sylvania. 
don't know. It's definitely like this area here. I don't think it's Hungary. Honestly. Let's see if there's like another road sign. Those also could just be like names of shops. Chiari. Does that sound familiar? That is giving me like an Italian vibe, if I'm not lying. What's that? Uh, there's a language that always ends in a vowel, and I can't remember it. Put that sign. There you are. This is this is the moment right here. Porco Ogio Nord piece of. Uh, Pig Latin. <laughs> oh. I don't think it's Pig Latin. I think we're in Italy. Ruba Gaudi? Like, that's the, the city that the pasta was named after, right? Bad joke. Although. You know, I'm going to go, like, here. So that if it is Croatia, at least I get some points. It was Italy. I'm actually pretty happy with a score of 16,000 so far. This might be the Maritimes Canada. It's definitely not, but it could be. So do you tailgate at all? You know what it might actually be? This might be Canada. Ton 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 do Sarah. I probably butchered that. We're in Chile. Good thing Chile's not a giant country. Okay. Okay. Well, he said it out loud. I don't know what it means. Don't worry. It was only the other hemisphere. I don't know if 16,000 is a great score, but I'm happy with it because I haven't played GeoGuessr in a long time. The most you can get is what, 25,000? All right. Rio Canelo. Definitely like on the ocean. Come by chance. Found San Arnos, so this is a perfect game for me. <laughs> if we can find San Ardo, we can find this city. Looking for highway number nine. Fives, a lot of ones. I think I need to be, actually zoom out a little bit. Okay, still see them. Not, that's eight. Nine's gotta be close to eight, right? Open this up. We're definitely like near the ocean. Hmm. Oh, the route to the end of the world. I should make my Twitter banner the welcome to San Arno sign. What if one of those 56 people has a copyright on the sign? <laughs> I'm just joking. There's absolutely no way they do. Uh, imagine they did, though. That would be funny. They had to, like, give you a cease and desist order, but, like, they had to, you know, Get the one person in town that actually knows how to use a computer to make it. <laughs> They're like, hey, hey, Ma, come over here. Get that clickety clack on the typewriter working for me. 
man on Twitter stolen my sign. <laughs> I'm in Peru. What makes you think this is Peru? Oh, I was in Peru on the map. I see. My bad, my bad. I was like, hey, this is not Peru. 100% in Ch -ch Chile. Gonna find Highway 9. Sometimes I miss the borders when I'm scrolling. Seven. Could be an inlet. Doesn't have to be the ocean. Forgot, yeah, Chile goes to all the way down. So it, oh, you know what? It's, yeah, it's like right down here. Okay, okay. The Ares. Didn't we? No. The Talas. Gonna be in here somewhere. Probably not right at the end of Highway 9. Probably not. Let's see. <laughs> These quotes are horrible. I have a feeling it's down in here. Rio de los. Is that what we saw on the sign? I went back on the sign. Or forward? I don't know. It's a port. Nine doesn't continue, does it? Literally the end of nine. I want to live in Port Hunger. That's me right now, Port Hunger. Because, like, I'm fasting. So I only eat from like nine. Oh, right here. Uh, I only eat from, sorry, noon till 8 p.m. So like I am st like starving all the time. I'm just going to guess here. I was better guessed where I was before. It's okay. That's okay. I received a badge though, spot on. Overall, that like that score went thumbs up. And when I get a thumbs up, that means that I can go customize pen. My options. There we are. Hook me up with the lime color and go, dang it. Oh, I can't undo. Thumbs up right there. <laughs> that was a recent quote, too. You really re reroll a kid, can you download a car? I don't even know what that means. I actually got a score in the DLC. The rest of this can, like, I don't care.